that circles back to being likable because when you are yourself and when you're sharing your honest feelings in that mail that, that you are mentioning, I said how afraid I was and how I was standing sweating and shaking in front of my MacBook and I was uh, so close to um, not doing the webinar and canceling it in the last minute. But I didn't because I know that was I, I was on the right path with doing it. And it's these moments where I feel um, the people who succeed are divided from those who fail because those who fail, they will quit the webinar the last minute and they won't take the chance. A successful blog needs social media because that's where the people already are and you want to promote your content on social media and drive them from Facebook and from Twitter to your website and get them to subscribe on your list. There is this distinction between just sharing the content and promoting it with paid traffic. Facebook ads, for example, you can target specifically those people that you are really interested in. You can really nail down who sees your ads. And this is a very important tool and a very powerful tool that I think um, too few entrepreneurs leverage these days. I think there's still potential for growth. When you're just starting out, really you're promoting to the network you already have on Facebook. And I would recommend when you're just starting out with your blog, join as many groups that talk about that topic as possible and connect with those people because social media is all about building relationships with other people and friend them or share the posts in the groups if you are allowed to.